Hey everyone, it's Dr. Jess. In today's video, I'm going to discuss milli equivalents. We'll learn to calculate the milli equivalent weight. We'll also learn to convert between milligrams and milli equivalents. And also, I'll go over some problems involving milli equivalents. Okay, let's get started. What is milli equivalent and how is it used? Milli equivalent is used to express the concentration of electrolytes in a solution. It takes into account the valence of the ions. For any given chemical compound, the milli equivalent of cation equals the milli equivalent of an ion and also equals the milli equivalent of the chemical compound. So what does that mean? Let's say you have a 40 MEQ solution of potassium chloride. That means you have 40 MEQ of potassium ions and also 40 MEQs of chloride ions. These are some very useful formulas that will help you when solving problems involving milli equivalent. So um, let's look at the first one. Milli equivalent um, equals to a milligram times valence divided by molecular weight. So let's say um, you have a problem where um, they give you um, a certain number of grams or milligrams of a compound and then they're asking Asking you to find the milli equivalent. So if the um, if the weight is given in gram, don't forget that it has to be converted to milligram, and then you have to find the molecular weight of the compound, and then knowing the valence, you can find the milli equivalent. You can also um, be asked to find milligram when you're given the milli equivalent. So the way you do it is a milligram is milli equivalent times molecular weight divided by valence. And the third one is if you're being asked to find milligram per ml, um, you can and you're and you're given milli equivalent per ml, you can also find milligram per ml. Now, the last formula, the milli equivalent weight, is the, the weight, the molecular, the atomic weight divided by the valence. So, um, in the next slide, you will see how um, you can either use the first formula when, when looking to um, find milli equivalent in a problem, or you can use the last formula to find the milli equivalent weight and then use ratio and proportion to find the milli equivalent. So I'll explain in further detail what I mean by that. Let's look at this first problem. How many milli equivalents of magnesium sulfate are represented in one gram of hydrous magnesium sulfate? Okay, so the first way we can solve this problem, so we're being asked for milli equivalent. We can use the first formula in the previous slide, which is milli equivalent is milligram time valence divided by molecular weight. So here we have to find the molecular weight of magnesium sulfate. And that is 120. So 24 plus 32 plus 64. The valence of magnesium sulfate is two. Let me know if you want me to do a separate video on valence. Let me know in the comments. So the valence is two. So the weight given in the problem is in gram. So we have to convert it to milligram. So one gram equal 1000 milligrams. So then MEQ equal 1000 times two, which is the valence divided by 120, which is the molecular weight. So your answer is 16.7 MEQ. Now you can also solve this using a different way, a different formula. So remember the last formula on the previous slide that I talked about, the milli equivalent weight, it's the so to find the milli equivalent weight, so that's going to be 120 
divided by the valence, which is 2. So the milliequivalent weight is 60. So that means 1 MEQ is equal to 60 milligram. So now we can use ratio and proportion to find the milliequivalent of magnesium sulfate. So if 1 MEQ is 60 milligram, then 1000 milligram is X. So we have to find the MEQ for 1000 milligram. So X equal one times 1000 divided by 60. And your final answer again is 16.7 MEQ. So you can solve this um, either way. I um, chose to show you um, both methods and um, you can use the one that you prefer. Let's look at the second problem. How many milliequivalents of potassium chloride are represented in a 15 ml dose of a 10% weight in volume potassium chloride elixir? So here we're given a value in percent weight in volume. If you're interested in learning more about percent weight in volume, check out my video on that topic. I'll link it in the description box below. Okay, so here we're being asked for milliequivalent. Um, first, we have to find the weight. So we're giving 10% weight in volume. So we know 10% weight in volume is 10 gram over 100 ml. So here we can use ratio and proportion. So if 10 gram is 100 ml, then for 15 ml is X. So X equal 10 times 15 divided by 100. So that's 1.5 gram. And when, when you convert that in milligram, that's um, 1,500 milligrams. So now to calculate the milliequivalent, we can use the formula that I talked about previously. So that'll be milliequivalent is um, um, the valence. So the valence of a potassium chloride is 1. The weight is 1500 and then the molecular weight of potassium chloride is 74.5 so that means your final answer will be 1500 times 1 divided by 74.5 and that's 20.1 meq you can also use the alternative method finding the milliequivalent weight which will be 74.5 divided by the valence, which is one. So then your milliequivalent weight will be 74.5. So that means one MEQ equals 74.5 milligrams. Now, using ratio and proportion, we know one MEQ is 74.5 milligram. So then for 1500 milligram, that's X. X equals one times 1500 divided by 74.5 and your final answer is again 20.1 meq does that make sense so again you can use either method um, to solve this problem problem number three what is the concentration in milligram per ml of a solution containing two meq of potassium chloride per ml so for this problem I would like all of you to try and solve it and let me know your answer in the comments below. Before you go, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploaded video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.